So we match on the hinge. Mm. It was first date. Mm. We went to theater. Mm. He's like, oh, Victoria, I'm going to the restroom. He went to the restroom and after 10 minutes he wrote me, mm. oh, sorry, we can't be together. I'm sorry. I left. <laughs> he left me alone in theater. He just said, I'm going to the toilet. I'm going to the restroom. And he never come back. <laughs> I mean, you have to self-analyze there, you know, maybe there's certain things which you're doing which is not really attracting the guy. So instead of crying on TikTok, I think what you should do is just, you know, reflect, maybe talk to a friend which is honest with you and ask them, what, what is wrong? Am I doing something wrong? You know, have that conversation because often, yes, it could be the guy which is probably just not interested, but there are certain things which I think a lot of women do. And uh, the thing is like this, because there's no accountability when it comes to women, right? They can do whatever they want, say whatever they want. And usually men will put up with it just because they want to get some. But I guess this guy wasn't just that desperate. He was just like, you know what? It's fine. I don't have to eat today. What is up guys? Welcome to another video. I hope that you guys are all doing good. In this video, we're going to watch some TikTokers complain on TikTok. My favorite thing to do. For some reason, I decided to look up my college boyfriend mm. last night. No, okay. I don't have ADHD. And uh, he's not on social media, but his wife is. Okay. So I found her and um, yeah, she seems lovely. She was floating around the kitchen in her posts, like making her own granola. There's like a pie on a windowsill. She's painting birdhouses. She's one of those people who's like graying mm. gracefully and, and just looks super pretty all the time. I, on the other hand, am sitting in a park right mm. now in my pajamas, having uh, just gotten my coffee. I don't really want to go home. So I'm avoiding my responsibilities as long as possible. And last night, I ended up binge watching an entire series simply because I couldn't find the remote. A new episode would start and I was like... I That's crazy, guys. We're going through things right now. I think there are a lot of people which are just having... I don't know if it's like an existential crisis or... I've been watching a lot of videos like this where people are just going through things. I think it's very sad. I do. Uh, because... The problem with, I have to say people, I'm not gonna like gender or talk about a specific gender, but the problem with people today is that it's like we always want to figure out what's in the mystery box. Instead of just being happy with the girlfriend that we have or the boyfriend that we have or the car that we have, it's like, it's very sad that it is like this a lot of us have a TikTok brain everything must happen very quickly but i think it's also because we just can't make up our minds so this is me at the start of 75 hard ish yeah that stomach oh my mm. gosh let's see what we can get done in 75 days and let's see if we can make this I mean, she's a gorgeous boss queen. She looks like a, I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say it. You know, I'm warming up. I'm trying to get back into it. But uh, yeah, uh, hope that she loses the weight that she wants to lose so she can attract the man that she wants to attract. And that's all that I'm gonna say about that because, you know, I wanna keep my YouTube channel. I wanna, you know, I wanna be a, a kind, loving person on YouTube, you know, and I want this to continue. So I'm like, wow, she's, she's beautiful, you know? The girl that was looking for a man in finance <laughs> might have just ruined her own life because she signed a record contract for her song. Oh. Now, some of you might be thinking that's great news for her, but this is how it actually works. So because her video blew up, record labels think that they could turn a profit off of yeah. her. And she's super excited about this because they probably gave her a ton of money up front in cash. Rumors are possibly even a million dollars, which on the surface sounds pretty good. But here's the problem. 
it's basically a loan. So she has to mm. pay this back in streams. And the problem is, she doesn't even have a song on Spotify. The remixes, which are possibly royalty free because it's a short sample, are the only songs that might be generating money. Mm. So they're signing her in the hopes that they can go after those that have made remixes mm. and take their profit. But if that doesn't work out, she's going to need a guy in finance <laughs> more than ever to pay back that loan. You know, there are a lot of record companies right now which are doing what these 360 deals. Uh, and yeah, I've heard of this, like when they sign you and then they copyright your content. So I'm like, mm, record companies are going to be a thing of the past. But I find that very interesting that a meme, a person which just made like a stupid five second thing becomes so big. I mean, like if you compare her to like what doctors, they study their whole lives in order to try to achieve some success. But this girl did it in what? some few seconds. So I, I think it is tragic the way that we are displacing our attention. I think that we should focus more on like people which are actually helping the world. But then again, that's the internet for you. I woke up this morning in absolute disbelief that this is my life. Mm. <laughs> like, I'm for real a clerk. That's wild. I just always thought I'd be some sort of artist. Yeah. And when I first started working here, I thought I was going to be part-time. Joke was on me, but I thought I was going to be part-time and, and focus on. But this is the crazy part. That's what happens. That's how they get you. You know, they just like, hey, you can, you know, come, come and hang out, you know. And before you know it, bam, it's a family and all of that jazz. So I'm like, take it day by day. But, you know, you, you got to plan your escape because you have to put yourself in uncomfortable situations in order to grow and you can't let time pass by that's why every day if you it's even better if you just what like spend an hour doing something every day that is like uncomfortable because those hours you know after a while they they add up what i really wanted to do in life which was art and now I'm kind of suckered in. I've been doing this for four years. It's who mm. I am, it's what I do. I'm not going anywhere, you know what I mean? But it wears you down. And I'm still rooting for myself. I'm still rooting for something grand to happen. And I'm honestly thankful for every single one of you that have stuck by me to watch the shit show. I appreciate you immensely. And yeah. That's all I've got today. I love it, very honest. Love of my life, the girl that I've been dating for the past two years just went to study abroad in okay. Argentina. And within the first week, she met someone, got with him, cheated on me, called me and told me about it. Not that she cheated on me, but that she met someone. And uh, here's my story. I actually don't know what else to do. So I'm just gonna vent on you. You can start by just getting a new girlfriend. That's practically it. I mean, venting on the internet is not a good idea. You're being emotional right now and you should not, as a man, be emotional. You have to be honest with yourself. Talk to your friends, of course. But sitting and making a video like this, man, it's not the way to go. She doesn't want a guy that is on internet complaining about his problems. It's a test. And that's how you should view it, right? Even in this scenario right now, which you're in, she's testing you. So you can either choose to pass the test or you could be one of those guys which sit and start to complain, which is not a good, it's not a good idea. Even though that she has been horrible to you, even though that she treated you bad, and even though that she cheated on you, you just, as a man, take it on the chin. Just be like, I understand, he's a great guy, you deserve to be with him. That's it. Doing this, it's not the way to go. Somebody tell me what to do, please. So I got married in January okay. of this year, six months ago. Found my husband's Apple Watch one week after we got married on the bathroom floor. Picked it up, entered the first passcode I could think of, which was his birthday. Okay. Of course, it works get in the first try 
immediately see him um, exchanging messages with some girl from his work back and forth, pretending that he's single and pursuing her, Mm -hmm. sending shirtless pics, pics in his underwear. She's sending him pictures, talking inappropriately, very inappropriately. Um, telling her how attractive mm. she is, which mm. she's definitely not. And then you see him send her a picture of him and our daughter mm. to her. So to her, she thinks he's just a single dad, I guess. Um no mention of me, no mention of any girl that he's dating. He basically is just letting her know that he's... And this is the problem. Hurt people hurt people. This guy played the field and understood one thing, just like the previous video. She's going to cheat on you. So either you cheat or she cheats. One of you are going to cheat. I wish it wasn't like this. And look at the way that she is. She's more interested over the fact that the husband is trying to throw her under the bus. Why? Because she has more respect for him. She might not say it, but she's still with him. Oh yeah, he tried to throw, yes. Because women respect guys that can just cut their throats. They, They have so much respect for guys like that. A nice guy, which is actually treating her good, she wouldn't, she would not, she would not give him the time or the day, but a guy which is cheating, he's doing all of that. It's like, and you know, the crazy part is like, of all the girls which I've dated, right? I've dated both very nice girls and very like, I have to say what, girls which have been for the streets. And I've noticed like, the girls which have been for the streets, I still have great relationships with them. Because there's mutual respect there where I'm like, I'm gonna play the game, I'm gonna play the field before you play me. I hate it. I hate, I hate the fact that that's how it is, but that's just how it is.